Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna check out three different ways to convert and correct iPhone log footage from Apple Log to Rec. 709 in DaVinci Resolve. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got this clip of Georgie sitting here and this is shot on the Blackmagic camera app using Apple Log. So for method one, really, really simple. We're gonna open settings, go to color management, and where it says DaVinci YRGB, we're just gonna change that to DaVinci YRGB color managed. We're gonna keep it with SDR there. We do have an HDR option, but I'm gonna keep it SDR because we're just using standard Rec. 709. So as you can see that our color output space is standard Rec. 709. So all we need to do now is click save and that'll transform that Apple log to Rec. 709. I'll just move that out of the way and show you. Watch how the clip changes. Okay, so obviously that looks a little bit too contrasty. So we're gonna open the color page. With the clip highlighted, go to our color wheels there. That's the SDR color wheels. Turn on our scopes, because that's gonna help us. And then we can just use these color wheels and the settings here, the saturation. Bring the shadows right up, bring the saturation down a bit. And we can toggle that on and off here so we can see how it looks without the changes by clicking this little icon at the top here back to the cut page and that plays through like that okay now method two okay let's go back to DaVinci YRGB and the color management and the settings so we've gone back to that washed out log footage now so let's drag that clip back to the timeline Highlight the clip, go to the colour page, and this time we're going to use nodes. So this is going to give us a lot more control over the look. Turn those effects off. We're going to add another node, add another one, and I'm just going to pull these nodes over here to give myself more space because I'm using my MacBook Pro here. So open effects, and we're going to look for colour space transform. There it is, we're gonna put that on the last node. The reason we're putting it on the last node is so we can use that second node to make our changes. Now we're gonna change the, the input color to Rec 2020. The reason we're doing this is because Apple Log uses the Rec 2020 primaries. Our input gamma, we're gonna change to Apple Log. Output color space, Rec 709. and output gamma, also Rec. 709. Okay, so now we can make our changes on our second node. So we're gonna use the color wheels. And we're just gonna make manual adjustments here. We're also gonna use the curves. We can toggle it on and off again like this in the same way. And once we're happy with that, we'll go back to the cut page. Let's see how that looks. Cool. Now for method three, we're gonna use an adjustment clip. So let's drag that log clip back onto the timeline again. Okay, now staying on the cut page, we're gonna go up to effects. And we're gonna just grab an adjustment clip 
and drag it over the top of that log clip. Stretch it out so it's the same size. And then with that adjustment clip highlighted, we're going to go into the colour page. So we've got the adjustment clip highlighted up here. And before we make any changes here, I'm just going to change this back to DaVinci YRGB Colour Managed. So that's already transformed the Apple Log Clip into Rec. 709. The great thing about using an adjustment clip is that that will affect all of the clips that it sits above on the timeline. So back to the cut page and the end result looks like this. Any questions at all, ask me in the comments. I'll be really happy to answer anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.